What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today with another base build. Guys, I used to do base builds all the time uh, for my Town Hall 8 before. It's probably the most, uh, I probably built the most bases for Town Hall 8 on my channel. You guys can go back like a year and find some Town Hall 8 bases that are awesome. But today, as you can see, we have got a new one, guys. And it looks pretty awesome. This thing looks like a hurricane. It looks like something is coming in and getting ready to go to town. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in this. I am trying to protect my Dark Elixir. As you guys know, I am maxing out my Town Hall 8. So we are farming, we are farming, we are farming because I love farming. I don't like trophy pushing. <laughs> so I like farming and so that is what we are doing, guys. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just start off by bringing in our mortars, which is one of our most important defenses. Uh, in my mind, the mortars and the uh, wizard towers are the most important of the defenses uh, because Splash is a blast. <laughs> I don't really know what I, what I was going at there. But as you can see, our mortars are covering the entire base right here, um, all the way around it as it circles up and whatnot. So this should work fairly well for us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in our gold storages uh, as well. We're gonna throw those right in there next to all of the mortars like so. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring in our wizard towers as well and those are going to go in these points right here and help to protect all of our loot for us um, <clears throat> all the way around the base we're going to put those right there and then we are going to bring in our air defenses as well and those are going to be back two sets of walls also so that they are protected um, from anything that tries to come in as you can see they uh, pretty much cover the whole base except for this bottom little portion down here uh, by the wizard tower otherwise the whole base is covered by the air defenses which is what you want you really want to try and get all of your defenses helping to cover uh, the entire base so we're gonna go ahead and bring our clan castle in right there it is a little bit exposed guys but I really wanted to protect my dark elixir so that is why the dark elixir is in the middle and not the clan castle if you want your clan castle in the middle Put it in the middle. I don't care. <laughs> you can put that in the middle and it'll still um, it'll still be good. So we're going to go ahead and just keep on working our way around, guys. We're going to have these little Tesla areas down here as well uh, with some bombs in them. So let's go ahead and bring in um, these bombs. We're going to bring in a bomb right here, guys, and we're going to throw in some uh, spring traps. Like I always say, guys, you want to spring them before you cause damage to them. So put the spring traps before the giant bombs. Otherwise, people will attack your base, or otherwise people, people, otherwise the attackers are going to get half damaged, uh, and then they're going to get flung off, which is kind of pointless, honestly, when you think about it, because then you're just wasting your damage. Um, so we're going to throw in our archers and our cannons all the way around point defenses, guys. You always want to do um, archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, unless you're trying to just have all archers, like around your town hall, or something like that to protect from... Um, anything like uh, Lava Loonian or something like that if you have a bunch of archers then they cause a bunch of damage because of the new DPS boost that they have um, so we want to have those all the way around the base just helping cover it uh, where's this other archer tower oh yeah and this other archer tower is going to go right in here <clears throat> let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our loot so we're gonna throw our uh, elixir storage right there and you can see that our wizard towers cover it guys you always want to make sure that your wizard towers cover your loot for you we're gonna throw that one right there and then we are going to um, bring in this last one right down here as well and you can see that that is protected by the cannon the archer tower as well as this wizard tower and we're going to have Tesla's up in here as well uh, so we've got a Tesla right there we're gonna throw two spring traps in front of that one we are using our traps really really well in this base i think that uh it is going to be absolutely amazing we're going to throw in those other bombs right there uh not bomb yeah the air bomb and the skeleton trap and then we are going to throw in uh one of these as well and one of these uh let's keep on working our way around so up at the top we don't have any more tesla so we're gonna go bomb bomb and uh mini bomb and if anybody comes in through here they are going to get annihilated like absolutely destroyed i dare somebody to attack from hogs from right there and they will regret it immediately <laughs> they will definitely regret it immediately uh we're gonna go ahead and throw in this air bomb up here as well and then once again bring in our last uh tesla right there and then we're gonna do mini bomb mini bomb and once again guys you want to fling them first before uh you cause damage to them so we're gonna fling them right there we're gonna bring in our other seeking air mine over here as well as our other skeleton trap 
right there. And then is that it for our defenses? That's almost it for our defenses. We're going to throw in uh, this air bomb right here. And then we're going to throw in another little bomb right there. And then let's go ahead and just bring in the rest of our building. So I love symmetry, as you guys know. So all the way around, right by those archers, I am putting army camps. Uh, and then we're just going to throw in everything else pretty much randomly. But as I always do, guys, you want to do uh, non-resource building, resource building, uh, non-resource building, resource building, just like this, all the way around so that if people do want to come and steal your loot, say you've been offline for a little bit, um, and you don't want them to be able to easily get all of your collectors, you don't want to have like all gold on one side because then they're just going to drop off 10 barbarians and 10 archers and take all your stuff from you. Um, so you want to be definitely careful of that. Go ahead and continue just throwing all these around. I am going to put this Dark Elixir Drill right here um, next to that. We're going to do... Uh, uh, we can go ahead and put this right here and throw this right here. And then throw in another non-resource building right there. And then just keep on working our way around. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a, uh, a Builder's Hut right at the entrance of this to go ahead and try and pull them through. Um, and then throw this right here. We've got our... Laboratory right there gonna bring in one more right here and then one and one Almost there Almost done throw this right here put that dark barracks right there. Can this fit by this tree? It cannot uh, We'll go ahead and just throw it right down here as well and Where do we want to put our spell factory? We'll put our spell factory right there and our last builders hut is going to go down and we are going to have I not put everything down? Save. And we're going to save. And there we have it, guys. That is our active base now, as you can see. It looks pretty sweet. I think it's going to work really well. We've already had a couple defenses, but nobody uh, full-on attacking it. We've had somebody uh, drop off a bunch of troops like this on the town hall. And then, of course, lightning spell my freaking dark elixir. <laughs> Come on, dude. So he lightning spell. How many did he use? He used two lightning spells on my dark elixir. Um... But it hasn't really fully been attacked, but as you can see, all the resources are spread out really well. And they're all in different uh, sides and corners and corridors and all this kind of stuff. So it's going to take somebody a lot if they want to get all my loot. Um, so try it out, guys. Let me know what y'all think down below. Uh, and I will show y'all replays as we go on. Again, guys, we are moving on up. We can upgrade our Barbarian King. I'm going to save that. We're going to do another max uh, video in a little bit so we're gonna save that upgrade that and uh yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope that y'all like the base build i think that it's gonna be an awesome one and as always make sure you guys keep calm and you clash on for me right see you guys later peace